to our lovely viewers out there on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Welcome to the Capital Breakfast Show with myself, Robin Jones. Of course, I'm not here alone this morning. I'm here with my lovely host, Sia Kwele. Good morning, Sia. How are you? No, I'm all right, Robin. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. Just got a bit of a flu. I can hear throat. your voice is uh, yeah. coming and going over there. Hopefully, you'll muscle on well with us today. Definitely, I will. <laughs> all right. On that note, we will be right back. You're still tuned into the Capital Breakfast Show where we bring you infotainment at its peak. To kickstart our show this morning, we'll be starting it off with a fitness session with Grant Handy, moving on to a cooking session with Zell Hoffman. That's right, we'll have a very special guest in the studio by the name of Hotso Mkwena, mm -hmm. Olympic medalist, oh, and yes. then we'll be moving on to cooking with the champ. Moving on to our first segment of the day, which is fitness, of course. I hope all our viewers had their gym gear ready for this awesome segment. Please do enjoy it. Eight, 
Set the cutout in the same way. In three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Bring your feet in as well. Bring your head slow. Ten four. In three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten quick. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep upwards. Ten slow. Ten fast. In three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten quick. In three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, the next exercise will be row jumps. You can invisible skipping rope. Right. We're going 30 seconds. Okay, in three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds. Keep that motion.
Welcome to the Capital Breakfast Show. My name is Robin Jones and we are currently giving away tickets to the Masters of Wealth hosted by Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now the show in Johannesburg will be held at the Sanson Convention Center on the 24th of July as well as in Durban at the ICC on the 29th of July and then in Cape Town on the 1st of August at the Cape Town International Convention Center. Now if you would like to win a pair of these tickets you can simply drop us an email at tcb at with your name and your preferred city that you'd like to attend the seminar at as well as like our Facebook page the Capital Breakfast and send us a message on there or simply send us a tweet at tcb20. Thank you. A big thank you to Grant Handley on that awesome gym segment. How did you find that one, Zia? I found it very interesting. As you know, Grant Handley is the gentleman taking care of our fitness needs both here in studio and for our viewers at home. Hopefully everyone can keep up with our Grant. Moving on from fitness to a healthy cooking session with the Zell. Do enjoy. <music> Good morning guys and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Izal Hoffman and um, I'm going to be cooking a basic omelette with you guys today. Um, for reference, the recipes is all available on my website www.izalhoffman.com. But let's get started. Well, for a basic omelette you always need some eggs. I do believe in a three egg omelette. Then we've got some beautiful rosa tomatoes here, some chopped up mushrooms, some mozzarella cheese, some paprika and one of my favorite herbs, rosemary. Just break the eggs. Okay, for this we're going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, the fresh rosemary to this mixture before we're going to beat it. And let's get these babies beaten. Okay, 
I'm a firm believer that when you make an omelette, you need to make use of the stove and the oven. So I've preheated the pan to save some time as well as the oven. I've switched the grill on. Now we're just going to throw this lovely mixture in here, just like that. We can even make use of just to scratch out the last little bits. Perfect. Now let's get the filling ready. The omelette is almost ready, so we can start adding the filling. First things first, some mozzarella cheese. Now some people like to fold the omelette, but I do like to present it like as an open omelet. That's why I grill it in the oven. Then we're going to add some rosa tomatoes. I'm a fan of tomatoes but you don't need to use so much if you don't want. And then last but not least some mushrooms. Now to top this off, I'm just going to add my herbs, salt and pepper, and then it's going to go into the oven just for a quick grill so that you can get that nicely grilled taste. Some black pepper, some salt, and then a little bit of paprika. And then we're just going to top it off with a little bit more cheese. Might as well use everything. And there you go. Into the oven for a minute or two. This omelette just came out perfect. So let's have a look at it. It is called the open omelette. So there you go. I just had to close the oven there for a second. Well, basically this is ready to dish up. You can actually either you can fold it close or you can keep it open. But for presentation wise, I think this is perfect. There you go. See lovely all the nice little herbs and raw ingredients there. So if you would like to dish it up, we can just make use of a plate. There you go. And we can fold it nicely. Okay, this one is nice and loose. So basically just, there you go. And now let me get a spatula quickly. Ooh. And there you go. A nice made stuffed omelette you can uh, like i said either keep it as an open omelette or you can serve it folded like this this is quite a big meal so this is ideal to share with your loved one or friends and family guys thanks for having me today and have a good day we'll be in touch soon A big thank you to Azel Hoffman for another delicious recipe. Hopefully our viewers are taking notes and hopefully you got your groceries all ready and steady for our cooking session that we just had. But I have to say, Azel, your cooking seems more delicious by the minute. And I have to say, when it comes to athletes, they seem to manage to motivate me and inspire me quite a lot. Thanks to our viewers here and 
obviously people here in studio, they got together an interesting gentleman by the name of Hotso Mokwena. And I have to say, this interview is one I'm dying to see. Do enjoy. Welcome to the Capital Breakfast Show with myself, Robin Jones. We are giving away tickets to the Women Achievers Congress, hosted by Kim Kiyosaki, the wife of Robert Kiyosaki, on the 25th and the 26th of July at the Samson Convention Center. Now, if you would like to get a hold of these tickets, you can simply drop us an email at tcb at with your name and surname. Or you could simply like our Facebook page, The Capital Breakfast, and send us a message on there. Or you could send us a tweet at tcb20. Thank you. Good morning, welcome to the Capital Breakfast Show. You know your lady, Takarani Batugera, and today we have this handsome, handsome man, Koto Mukwena. How are you, Koto? I'm feeling good, thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks. I didn't know I was handsome, but yeah. No, thank don't you. worry, you look good. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. So tell me more about Koto Mukwena. Uh, Koto Mukwena is a guy that uh, that has a lot of passion in what, in what he does, mm -hmm. you know, uh, specifically what, what people know me. As, as an athlete doing the long jump and the triple jump so mm -hmm. uh, so yeah that's 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 part of me that's part of you yeah so what do you do for a living uh, i'm an athlete people know me as the olympic champion okay uh, silver medalist olympic games 2008 mm. um, olympic finalist mm -hmm. in all three olympic games and also um, gold medal Mm. Uh, world Indoor Championship, Silver Medal, World Outdoor Championship, uh, National Record Holder, and also African Record Holder. Both the disciplines are uh, long jump and triple jump. Okay, okay, okay. So I hear you, you, you specialize in long jump, triple jump, and uh, what, 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 what is your favorite and why? Uh, for, for a long time, long jump has been my favorite event. Okay. Um, we did do, I did do triple jump in the previous years, mm. early, early, early in my career. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I dropped it for for seven years. Okay. Now I've picked it up again, hoping mm -hmm. that I'll, I'll compete at both uh, events at, at the World Champs in August this year in Beijing, mm -hmm. China. Uh, it will be held again at, at the best at the Bird's Nest. Okay. And then also I'm hoping to do both events at, at the Olympic Games next year. Oh, lovely! And then tell me, how many medals have you won? Like the gold, the silvers, the bronze, of course. Two. I and think. when? <laughs> 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 so you say when that also no you must like, keep your you know, records <laughs> uh, yeah i try to keep counts all these years mm. i mean i've been i've been in the sports uh for more than 10 years at the mm. moment mm. Uh, i've been a professional athlete for exactly 10 years okay and uh so yeah so the medals it's too many it's too many too many it's too many you see when i was in in in, in, in great Ten, nine. Mm. I'll still be able to count. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Let's put it like this. Uh, plus or minus, how many gold medals do you have? <laughs> it's absolutely more than a hundred. Oh my God! Uh, way more than a hundred. <laughs> and the silver? Also more than a hundred. And the bronze? Not many. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wanted to. to I think there's less than ten bronze. Ah, so yeah. you are that good. Yeah, there's less than ten. Definitely less than ten bronze. Mm. Uh, in, in any championship that I've taken part. Okay, yeah. lovely, lovely. You see, I made it simple for you. Yeah. So let's continue. So um, have you ever encountered any challenges in your career? Yeah, I mean, ev every season, Yeah. you know, uh, to be a top athlete, you will have uh, challenges. You mm -hmm. know, uh, it, it's not an easy sport. It's not a team sport. Mm -hmm. Not that team sports are easy, but individual athletes, uh, or individual sports is, is, is very difficult. You always have challenges, yeah. you know, with, with your training, uh, with your competition or your competitors. So you always have to uh, sort of like stay, stay in top shape. Mm. So how do you manage? Look at you. Eh? You look fit. How do you manage <laughs> to yeah. do your, yeah, your body fit. like this? Yeah, well, I think with me, uh, it's part of my life now. Uh -huh. You know, it, it has been my life to, uh, to train hard every day, mm. sometimes three to four times a day. Yes. I'm a training and uh, so yeah that, that's how I've kept shape you know mm. also uh, the diet also you know and, and staying away from stuff that doesn't contribute uh, mm -hmm. to my business you know yeah. what I'm saying a lot of people 
do stuff that doesn't that doesn't contribute to to uh, to their goals. Hmm. If I may, what is your uh, secret of your success? Uh, obviously, I, I I have to say not obviously it's a fact. It's you a know, fact. Uh, I like it's that. A, it's, it's a fact that mm. w without I'm I'm a strong believer. Without God, I wouldn't be where I am. Mm. You know, without God, I wouldn't even. Uh, have the talent to even start yeah. uh, what what I've been doing for many years. So uh, for me, the secret is acknowledging that mm. and knowing that every day, every day I wake up just to, to be thankful for yeah. for being given that, that that kind of opportunity. I mean, if you look if you look at how many people are in the world mm. who, who who wants to attend, yeah. better yet to win a, a medal at, at any championship, mm. there's just too many to count, you know. Mm. And uh, for me to be there. And, and, and to get uh, to get the medal, you know, it's it's all because of God. It's all because yeah. of. I totally agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's the secret. People uh, <laughs> people forget that, you know. Yeah. Uh, sometimes people give praises to themselves. Mm. You know, you forget at the end of the day. It's all. I didn't put myself here. Yeah. Yeah. It's the big man up there. It's the big man upstairs. <laughs> okay. So what's <laughs> the highlight of your career so far? So far, highlight of my career. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just going to mention just a few. Okay. Um, obviously, the, 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 uh, the Olympic Games 2008, mm -hmm. uh, the World Champs, mm -hmm. and also uh, uh, Commonwealth Games. Mm. Those, those medals have, have been the highlight and also breaking the African record. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, what advice can you give to, to all the youngsters out there who wants to be like your feet and some, of course? Yeah. Well, what can you say, that, say to them? I always say that people have to be persistent, persistent you know, I don't yes. have, I, I don't I don't always advise on something that I never went through mm. you know uh, I've always been persistent ever since I, I've started doing uh, the, the sports mm. and and it, it, works. it works so my advice is people need to stay persistent in mm. in any field that they do because uh, if, if you're working hard and being persistent obviously the, the results will come mm. so you, you train alone or you have a personal trainer I have, a, I have a personal coach uh, that I train with every day. Oh. Um, and also, obviously, there's a training group that, that, that that's also there, you know. But, uh, yeah, I have a personal coach that, that's with me every day and also traveling with me. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah. So if people want to know more about you, how can they contact you? Can't contact me. <laughs> no, if they want to follow you I'm on kidding. Twitter. I'm ah. kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> well, yeah. Social platform, yes, uh, mm. on Facebook, uh, or Croc Mukwena, and uh, I'm using the Croc as, as uh, croc. Mukwena Crocodile, mm. and also uh, on, on, on Twitter, mm. Kotsa Mukwena, okay. uh, Mukwena Jumper One, okay. and uh, a Lord Mukwena One on on on, um, on Instagram, mm. but uh, I'm not a huge fan of of, of social media. I oh. post now and then, but. Not so always. that people can see what what I've been up to in terms mm. of competition and so on. It's been a pleasure having you on our show today, Koso uh, Mkwena. Thank you. I hope one day I can join you, like when you're yeah. training. Well, can't wait. <laughs> okay. I have to keep up. Like I said, I want to come ready. <laughs> like I want to become a sex lady as well. So you know, but you are a sex lady. You have a problem oh, thank with you. that. Thank Don't you very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, my darling. So that was Koso Mkwena. So if you want to know more about him, you know what to do. So stay tuned on the TCB for more exciting programs. A big thank you to Takalani for interviewing Hoto Mugwena. I have to say, you know when it came to my long jump and uh, triple jump days back in primary school, I actually got a few tips from watching Hoto on television. You know really? That? Well, yeah. I used to struggle with that like, because mm -hmm. I'm quite small, so All I was right. like, you know what, I'd rather stick to what I know. Fair enough. <laughs> Talking to stick into what we know. It's our last segment of the day, Quickie with the Champ, so please do enjoy the segment. And it is a good morning to you again, uh, TCB viewers. Uh, it is Lucas Muloy, the champ himself, on Quickie with the Champ, not alone. 
with Kumo Masaba right here next to me. Kumo, how are you? I'm good in you, sir. I'm okay, you? I'm okay. Just the winter, yes. but I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit chilly. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah. and the, you know and what? It, it, it comes, it's a season. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we have to be yes, grateful of the seasons. The Ready seasons come, yeah. they, 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 they show a lot. Come um, and go. Exactly, they exactly. And I sit go. and I look at them as challenges, yeah. and I say I need to be getting this uh, season changes. Mm. As much mm. as in my life when challenges come, mm. I want those challenges mm. to come like seasons <laughs> because they, they they give me an opportunity to be a winner wow. if wow. i'm not challenged yeah. i cannot become a winner mm. if i'm not challenged mm. i cannot become a victor mm. yeah that is the way to look at it that is the way. Kuma, yes sir. the everyday battlefield yes 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 That's we we again uh, taking a quote from the book mm -hmm. and we want to talk uh, to our viewers out oh, there yes yes sir today the quote that we're taking from the book it is on uh, uh, page 109 of the oh, book, yes. mm -hmm. it says, uh, from a distance, the grass is always greener on mm. the other side. Mm. Only when we get closer do we see that it is not a field, but patches mm. of green grass. Mm. When you read it further, it says, it is in our nature or perhaps habit to look at what we do not have and value it more than what we have in hand. Mm. This is a mistake that we make both in our personal and professional lives. Mm. Mm. It says we take what we have for granted because we perceive what we do not have as better until we have mm. it in hand. Mm. Then it is mm. the same. Yeah, that material possession. Exactly. Now, mm. I, I like when I read this, mm -hmm. it, it sort of reminds me mm. of many young people oh, yes. um, that I have come across. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of, uh, of a lot of, uh, of people mm. that, that, that whose vision mm. tends to be swayed. Mm. most of the times mm -hmm. when, when you sit and you are sitting in your job mm -hmm. when you sit and you are sitting in your relationship mm -hmm. that's when a you are, you are in. exactly when mm -hmm. you sit and you're sitting in your in your company mm -hmm. you sit you are sitting in your marriage mm -hmm. and when you look at someone else's mm -hmm. it appears as if that person's mm -hmm. it's better than, than you what you have mm -hmm. it, it, it is a very human thing mm -hmm. Mm. That everything that is not ours, yes. everything that we don't possess, everything yeah. that we don't have, mm. everything that we are not in, mm. part of, mm -hmm. seems better mm. than what we are, mm. seems better than what we have, mm. seems better than the position we are in. Mm. And it is, it is one critical position that most people mm. uh, 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 see and they fall in this trap. Mm. You mm. know when you are in your job, yes. you look at another company, yes. and then you say, hey, they, it's yeah, nice there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and the people, the people in that company, yeah. they drive beautiful cars. Ah, huh? uh, yeah, in that yeah. company, this is happening mm. until you get in there. Hey, it's another thing. When you arrive in there, you realize it's that, hey, story. this green, it's ah. not the field. That I was, you know, aspiring for. It is patches. <laughs> it is just patches. Because when yeah. you look at patches and you look at them from a distance, they, they nice. actually appear as if it's a field of green, but it is not. Mm. Now, I want today to, mm. to focus on this, mm. that your situation mm. today may, may seem to, mm. be, to be dull, mm. may seem to be dying, mm. may seem to be, to be brown. Mm. It may be patches. You know? but, but you need to understand mm. that there where you are looking, mm. it may not be a field of green. No, no, no. no. It may be just patches yeah. of green. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes yeah. when you get in that place mm. and you find a field of mm. green, mm. you realize that what makes this field to be this green, yes. it is the manure ah. that has been poured in there. Mm. Every and single the, thing. And the smell <laughs> of that manure may not be pleasant. <laughs> you see, sometimes yeah. this green field mm. may not smell mm. as good as it looks because it is the manure that is keeping it green. Looks and I want people to understand that. Mm. Looks can be very deceiving. <laughs> Your situation today mm. may seem tough. Yes. Your situation today mm -hmm. may seem difficult. Mm. Your situation today may not seem ideal, mm. Mm -hmm. but it is, the, it is what you have. Mm. You know, there's a, there's a saying, I, I don't know if you know it, that yes. says uh, a, a bird in the hand mm. is worth two in oh. the bush. <laughs> I've heard something like, I've heard so, something so, like that. So yeah. what you have today, Kumo, yes, yes. it doesn't matter how bad mm. this car that mm. you are driving is. Mm -hmm. It may drop you at every robot. Yes. 
but it is what you have. Yes. Right. Uh, that's one way, w one thing that we as people tend to, uh, we forget, we, we, we disvalue it, we take a little value in what we have today, you mm. know, what we have today is very, very powerful mm. and if we can, like, if we can, the situation that you're in now, mm. take a chance and look at the positive, Yeah, it can come out very uh, rewarding yeah because uh, if you can take two people yes. i mean and these two people can uh look one can say and, so, and look at the circumstance uh, and say no i don't have a place my my home it's it's it, it's not appropriate to call people and invite people in you know and things like that but one person can can look at it and say i have shelter exactly i live somewhere exactly. I, I can i have people around me exactly. and that other person can say no uh we don't have food and yeah. things like that. It's yeah. very, it's very, it's, you it's see, the way they say change your perspective and yes. you can change your life. Exactly. You see, yes. what I say every time is that mm. it is the problem of the eye. Yes. Because what yes. the eye sees mm. always sees it uh, looks better you from know? a distance. Yes. The yes. eye can be deceiving. Yes. But you need to change your perception yeah. <laughs> because your life, mm. your world, mm. your problems, mm. your, your, your victories, mm. your triumphs mm. are a perception. Mm. When you change a perception mm. you see people around you changing when you mm. change your yes, perception yes, you see yes, situations yes, around yes. you changing you also become a different person you exactly. know you start to walk the walk and talk the talk mm. you become mm. the success exactly yes, yes. come on today i want to say to our listeners yes sir. you know you you may be sitting out there today mm. a, 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 and it seems like your life is difficult mm. it seems like things are not going well it seems like you are not doing you're not achieving mm. as much as you want mm. i want to say to you today change your perception mm. because normally when the perception changes mm. the world around you follows that perception it changes mm. it may look like it is green from a distance but remember, it may only be patches of green, or it may be a field of green with a smell that you cannot stand. Mm. Take today your situation, take today your environment, make it green, grow your environment. Don't wish for the environment that is not yours. Don't wish for what is not given to you. Mm. Come on. Mm. Today, <laughs> when you go out there, yes. Change your perception. Perception must change. When I walk out of here today, yes, yes, yes. I am going to walk out it's with a changed. new perception. Yes. The problems that I had yesterday, mm -mm. they haven't disappeared, no. Yes. But they are smaller <laughs> than what I am. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. We're sending you back to the studio again and we're saying this mm -hmm. is quickly the champ. If you want to uh, continue engaging with us mm -hmm. on. Uh, on Twitter, it is at TCB mm -hmm. or at Lucas Molloy. On Facebook, it is The Capital Breakfast. Yes. Or you can just look at the champ Lucas Molloy mm -hmm. or Lucas Molloy Caesar on uh, on Facebook. And yes. Kumo, yours? Oh, mine and fa it's, it's Facebook. It's uh, Kumo Matsawa, simply as that. Kumo Matsawa on Facebook. Yes, Kumo Matsawa. Visit me on www.lucasmolloy.co.za and I say back to studio till we meet again. Bye bye. And that was Quickie with the Champ with Lucas Malloy and Kumo here in studio. We hope you enjoyed that segment of the day and it definitely motivated you to enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Of We're not going to leave you right here. We'll be back same time, same place tomorrow. But if you'd like to stay in contact with us, you can def definitely send us an email at tcb at mm -hmm. But that's not the only way you can contact us. Oh, no, that more? is not. You can also like our Facebook page, which is The Capital Breakfast, or you can simply drop us a few characters on our Twitter handle, which is at TCB Tswane. Well, from us here in the studio, hopefully you have an amazing Tuesday morning. That's See right. you tomorrow. Goodbye.